Welcome back to another episode of Four Beers of Stupid. How y'all doing? It's been a while. I am your host, I am Fives. Nick, whatever the fuck you want to call me. With me as always, my co-host, Methuselah Honeysuckle. How you doing, buddy? <sighs> I'll be trying to come back with something, bro, but Methuselah, with Methuselah first, I was like, okay, okay, and then Honeysuckle lost me. I'm I'm good, bro. Those little honey suckers, bro. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we we know a little bit about sports. So I got a question for you. You get a hundred tries at both. Do you think you have a better chance at hitting a hundred mile an hour fastball from a professional pitcher or scoring on Kevin Durant? A hundred tries. And are we talking about like a decent hit or just like connect, just infield? Yeah, you just gotta hit it. You just gotta hit. It. Just not you know just what? fair. Keep it fair. As a person who's never like played organized baseball, mm-hmm. I still feel like a hundred tries. I'll probably smack one. <laughs> hundred. Statistically speaking, one of them got to be an accident. <laughs> Kevin Durant, bro. I think not even gonna be cocky or nothing, bro. But I, again, a hundred tries. I don't, you, I don't know if I can score on Kevin Durant, bro. I don't know if I can do it. I'm gonna just quit. I'm gonna just I'm gonna, some I'm gonna do it. You know how you know how they on the park when niggas be cheating. You know you're supposed to check up and they just you know no check. Yeah, just yeah. Shoot. yeah. All right, cool. You can't close out one of them going in. The nigga a footer though, bro. <laughs> Go recover, yeah, bro. You, yeah. I I'm taking the baseball attempt if I gotta pick one. Do the bunts count? It's a hit. It's in play. You just gotta be fair. All you right. Might shatter so, yeah. your fucking easy, elbow easy trying baseball. to bunt that motherfucker. Hmm? Easy baseball, but also easy money. I I think I got one out of hundred. If if you're watching this, I think I got one for you. I think I got a bucket for you. This nigga said easy baseball and then easy money. Okay, that's why you know that nigga's social media handle like that. Are we? Is that not a thing? Do we not know that? I, you know, it's one of his many burners. So anyway, another question, uh, real quick. Oh, um, another one. What are the qualifications of Jolly? Uh, there's a definite weight qualification. Because you, because you like, oh, that's a Jolly motherfucker. Like, what qualifies them from just being like happy or cheerful mm-hmm. to like Jolly? Like what? Okay. Are we getting into this? Can we I be can. real? Okay. <laughs> First of all, there's a weight requirement for Jolly. Okay. But also, if you are under that weight, I feel like um might be like a, a sexual orientation thing too. Okay. Yeah, like, ooh, that motherfucking Jolly over there. Like, um... Okay, like your grandma used to say. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, you know? We just replacing sugar in the tank with Jolly. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, nah, you can't. If you're just a normal person and you happy, and then you exceed a certain amount of happiness, you just goofy at that point. So, so if you skinny and too happy, you goofy. But if you're heavy and too happy, you jolly. I mean, I'm glad I didn't say those words. <laughs> like, if this is clipped, you said it. I'm just but... saying. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't not not disagree. <laughs> we gonna have to do a whole breakdown episode just figuring this shit out. You gonna have a pie chart up and shit. The white boy is just breaking the shit down. <laughs> oh man! All right, what you got for me, man? All right, we gonna warm it up. We was talking about uh, sports a little bit. Let me see if I got this, even though I said I was just going to send it to you. That's crazy. It's crazy, right? It's in the clipboard. Anyway, uh, oh, no, wait. There you Kawhi go. Leonard braids and Who shit. No. <laughs> Not with the fresh snaps. So, uh, Ime Udoka. 
Let's. We all know about the uh, the infidelitous actions. Looks consensual, consensual mm-hmm. yet uh, infidelitous. Nia Long, by the way. Mm. Infidelitous? That's a little word. That's it. Why you fact checking me? I don't know, nigga. I'm just maybe genuinely it is today. confused. But so it says here, um, the whole thing blew up because the conversation was heard by whoever he was cheating with. They husband heard it on the ring doorbell camera. So y'all niggas in front of the crib doing this? Even if you just on the phone and you just like hop out versus oh yeah, hold on, baby, this is a business call real quick. Boop boop boop. You just we got cameras everywhere. We got cameras everywhere. Like I'm a delivery person and half of the reason why I do a good job is because I know because you know the fucking camera right there. <laughs> You're not gonna if, I, if I throw this motherfucker like I want to, they gonna see it and report me. That's what I'm saying. Like you, you know how many down times gingerly. I walk up to a house and it's like twenty stairs to the just to the, get to the patio and all you order is a t shirt. That's what I wanna do. Can't do it see, though, because you got the ring. So you gear up. Oh fucking <laughs> I mean get that wave to the camera. But to get caught though, which honestly, homie had to have been suspecting it because I don't have him. But confirm, like you, you can check it at any point, right? Yes. You got one, right? Yeah. If there's so motion, oh, if there's, you got yeah. If there, it was a fucking housewarming gift, I didn't buy it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> buy that shit. Um, yeah. If if there's movement. It'll register movement, and then you can check it then. But also, like, you can just pull it up whenever you want. Yeah, man. So it's like, imagine they didn't do at dinner, you know. She so get up like, like... Was the spider sit just tingling? He's like, let me check the motherfucking camera. Like, That's what I'm saying. Because who else gets up during dinner and be like, I got to take this phone call outside? You know, I'm about to just inspect the gadget this shit. Bam. Got caught up. So, email. Do do better. Do better. Do better, Ian. Mr. Udoka. I mean, you got an African man. You can't be doing African wrong, shit. Dog. Like you, I didn't think you could. Like you, you did the best. <laughs> you, you did the best, and then you didn't. You made it. <laughs> All right. Let me see if this is the one I. Uh... Oh yeah, this was is uh, classified as a, a sports article. This it happened at a, a a football game, right? I don't even care who the crazy football. headline. Crazy headline, right? So, you want to go ahead and read it off for us? Okay, we got a Beyond Meat executive accused of biting man's nose outside of a game. Now, for people who are not familiar with Beyond Meat, they are in direct competition with Impossible Burgers and Impossible Meat. For vegan options. I thought you were going to make a joke and say that they sell sex toys. Impossible meat ain't a bad name. <laughs> uh, Beyond meat? Like, that sounds like they could they make some shit. Um, there's a special type of girl who probably has a lot of piercings who wants that impossible meat. But just the pure irony. Of this dude being the executive of a vegan meat substitute company, and his first go to in a fight is cannibalism. <laughs> just so fights like a Pokemon, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> and so, what happened is they're leaving, and we've all been there. To tailgating, uh, you know, I ain't never been a nigga knows. We ain't all been nowhere. We're not there specifically. Oh, well, so they're, you know, they're leaving an event. At you know a big sporting arena, okay, stadium, yeah, yeah. All right, you know one car is like inching in front to cut somebody off. The the meat exec was the guy <laughs> who got cut off, right? So there was some uh, some arguing, some yelling, and then contact. So once contact happened with the cars, homie threw it in park, hopped out, busted the back of his window, punched the hole on the mm-hmm. back of his window. Then went to the front. They started squabbing and then just... Bitch, nigga. Just Mike Tyson. 
Which, I mean... You got to have no experience in that situation. Like, what do you do? That's a panic move, is to bite somebody. What do you do? That's a feral move done out of desperation. You're not opening the fight with a bite. You just panic and desperation right there. Yeah, I'm just... How, like... But I want to see, like, what was the open... There got to be footage. There's got to be footage. There's footage everywhere. Like my man getting called the N-word at his doorstep. There's always footage somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we're just talking to other... Oh, no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> my, my, my bad, bro. My, my bad. Nah. That's not a my bad. Yeah, no, nah. there's footage somewhere. It'll, it'll drop. But it's it'll like, drop. I mean, Eventually. how you let him get that close? And, like, why do you get that close and your first thought is... Nose. Got he it. Was win- he was losing the fight. Wow. Old boy, old boy's probably giving him the beats... And then you had to make it like a headlock or something. That's a funny way to phrase that. And then he just bit his nose because he panicked. Yeah, that's um. I I haven't I haven't been in a fight in a while, but I don't, I don't think nose biting is my way to go. First first step. I don't think I'm going to bite anybody from the fight. You, I mean. So you getting stumped out, right? Let's say it's three niggas. <laughs> it's just, it's just an an now it's three niggas, right? And the only way it's possible for you to actually make it out alive is for you to somehow bite a nigga nose. You doing it? Um, no, I'm not. Because if that's right. what it comes down to in that situation, <laughs> so then I'm, nobody I'm here can fight. Because if there's three of y'all and one of me and I'm not on the ground getting stomped, it, I shouldn't have an opening to bite you in your fucking nose yeah, if it's three of y'all. If my only option is to nose bite, then I've lost. I'm already. probably about to die here anyway. <laughs> oh, you can read this next one because I'm not. You don't want to read that one? You got it. All right. All right, we we going. I like these rapid fire ones. Um, <laughs> Nigeria seizes donkey penises, mm. which, I mean, scientifically speaking, it's it's peni. Let's be real. So Nigeria seizes donkey peni to be smuggled to Hong Kong. Um, a lot of questions off rip. Mm-hmm. Do you have any? Mm. Mm, don't really care to have any. Um, nope, nope. I need I, to know what this trade is. What? What is this racket? What are we doing? Yo, so... Um, is it for three penis wine? Is that the third penis they need for the wine? That would make sense. Yeah, I, but that would make a lot of sense. What, the, what are the other two? What are the other two peni? Probably Pen- some shit they can get in Hong Kong. Like the copper, the copper joints. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my bad. Penny, nigga, that's on you, bro. Say penny. Yo, so um, down there it says, although the seizure of donkey genitals meant for export from Nigeria are rare, donkey skins are known to be frequently exported uh, and smuggled out of the country. Uh, in July, Nigerian Customs seized 116,000 worth of donkey skins. Now, I, I it's it's just a very vague, and they don't go in the difference between like we talking like donkey like actual pelts. And if that is, what do the pelts have to do with the penis? Okay, that's a lot of alliteration you use, and I don't appreciate <laughs> it very much. Please provide the pelt penis <laughs> problem. <laughs> Promptly. <laughs> Perseus. Uh, <laughs> okay. I, 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 I'm, I'm done with that one. I want to oh, leave. Nah, Can we leave brother, that one? Like, that's crazy that they is out here really just smuggling them shits. How you smuggle them? The way you smuggle Ooh. drugs to an airport? Ooh. How you smuggle them? Who gets Some pretty tight borders in Hong Kong? Who procures the... the I'm not gonna keep saying it, but who, who gets it? All right, like yeah, who, who goes in there? And who like, lops it off? Who has to massage it? And you know, you don't want who picks which donkeys don't make the cut. 
which donkeys is there a make grading the system? Or the cut? Is it length? Yeah. Is it girth? <laughs> no. Is it girth? Okay, I'm gonna take us completely away from. Please do penises Please. with this with this uh this next one. All right. Yeah, take take dick off your brain. So pay less. Bamboozled niggas, something fierce. By niggas, I mean people and influential money. These niggas made a fake luxury store. Called that bitch Palessi. And put that shit in like a mall, bruh, so it looks like it's Gucci. And they was charging hundreds for these shoes. And niggas was buying them. Because it looked flashy. And then these niggas are like, yeah, this is just pay less shoes, you fucking idiots. We got y'all niggas to pay $600 for a pair of pay less shoes. What you say? Palasi. Palasi. You know why I'm not surprised, though? It's because motherfuckers will spend a buck fifty on a shirt that has holes in it. That is very true. Like, you could, you could get a shirt off of a dude who just played two weekends of flag football and... Eight days straight of pickup games at twenty four hour fitness. You take it to like hot topic or some shit. Put a seventy. You got literal sweat stains on mm-hmm. the shit and holes, and people pay yeah. top dollar. Yep. Yeah. To do it. Palace. Did they Palace. have shacks or shocks in this palace? Because I... that was his <laughs> go to. <laughs> no, I think they just they just put on their they just put their like more dress style shoes up mm. but then like because they're in this fancy ass store motherfuckers is buying them like oh this influencer's wearing them I gotta go wear them too they're like yeah y'all are stupid and y'all think about the internet too much y'all saw this shit advertised as high fashion yeah, like, and was cashing out for it weren't y'all thrown off by like the velcro shoe section like weren't y'all thrown off by the motherfuckers that didn't have shoelaces I mean no because niggas I mean, is fucking spending hundred dollars on Crocs. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, hey, let's still carry K Swiss. Y'all think <laughs> y'all think they got it, nigga? If Travis Scott did a fucking crossover with and one shoes, them shits would be going for a thousand dollars a pop. Yeah. And we know they and ones. You mean with the ones with the little spinny wheel in the joints, bro? Them. Was the spree well joints, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just hard. It was just hard. Some yeah. good you was getting the hoes. That's what I'm saying. Right. Like you could go and get the little shit with the little M1 logo on it right now, and then put X Travis Scott a collab, and them shits going for two thousand dollars. Easy, easy. This nigga Kanye is robbing homeless people and selling their clothes <laughs> for. T- for two thousand dollars, their pop. plastic bag homes away, and then stripping them naked and putting their clothes in their homes and selling it. Yeah, and motherfuckers is buying it like it's like it's hot, like it's the shit. Like what That's are we doing he here? Said he can't even use his own name. They done gave that boy the Luka Doncic treatment. See, <laughs> your name is our likeness now. So I had the answers the whole time. Sway and his inexplicable head wrap had the answers the whole Sway time. Sway done had the head wrap for about 40 years. Dreads never got longer. Hey, you know, little known fact, there weren't ever any dreads under there. Good <laughs> <laughs> just kept it up a willpower, dog. <laughs> that, shit, that shit is a fucking alien control them, nigga. <laughs> that shit like Voldemort in Harry Potter 1 when he's on the back of the <laughs> shit. That nigga got a person back there. But yeah, bro, I think you, all this is be like, I guess Sway had the answers. He was right. Almost got choked out by Sway in the studio because you was, cause it, bruh, and he was Sway trying to put was you on game. Sway was cool with it, bro. Like, I don't know if I would have kept a cool head Sway did. Sway was Sway like, kept bro, it's cool. You don't got to turn up on me like that. Sway was about to, hey, you just saw all these years be like, yeah, maybe, maybe he had a point back then. But at one point, <laughs> Kanye did have that still stands is what's the name of his clothing line? We don't know. 
I think it's a Ye- Yeezy. Yeezy. No, no they took that shit, huh? Sway? Oh, yeah, that's what yeah, Kanye Sway said to him in the interview. He's like, what's the name of your clothing line? We don't know. We 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 don't know. Sway. And one. Uh... <laughs> Uh, it's because he only exclusively sells head wraps to Erica Badu. It's fine. And niggas that work at Seven <sighs> Eleven. To uh, underground crime lords that wear diamond turbans. Um, Call back. Did we, did we talk about last time about the dude that broke into the museum and started fucking stuff up? No, I don't think so. Or well, even if we did, it's still great to bring up again. So this dude breaks into a museum and like breaks. I don't know if it was one painting or he broke some shit. Did a decent amount of damage. And when the cops talked to him, like, why why'd you do it? This nigga said, I got into an argument with my girl. She made me mad, bro. So I broke into the museum and started breaking shit. How does that transpire, bro? So he just he did the uh, the trade dog from Don't Be a Menace when he was swinging, right? Mm-hmm. I just he got into the argument with his girl at the house, swung, knock out all them kids, all the kids, and just walked to the fucking museum, just swinging on everybody, yeah. just eight people knocked out on the way to them. Got in, just swinging on step. How do you? He can't do that. Got to <laughs> argue with his girl, went and broke into the museum, and like broke a painting or some or I think he sniggered it like couple couple decent amount of thousands of dollars worth of damage. Editor Nick here, guys. Uh, I was woefully wrong. This motherfucker did five million dollars worth of damages. I was way off. But like because he was mad at his girl. It's like if you if you get into an argument with somebody, right, and you get so mad you kill them, you'd be like, ah, rage, emotions. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. If you then drive, that's a different degree of murder because you yeah. had time to cool down yeah. in, in between. So how do you justify a domestic argument with your girl to drive into the museum and then just fucking up priceless art? Because he thought it was going to be alive at night. (sighs) Okay. That had to be her favorite museum, bro. (laughs) Like, that had to be her favorite museum, and that had to be her favorite piece of art ever. And he was like, bitch, I hate everything about you. I'm going to destroy the one thing you love. I mean, I don't... Because it clearly wasn't him. I don't condone it, but, like, I'd at least understand if you swung on her. Like, she made you mad. <laughs> so, like, all right, cool. You took your anger out on that. Not not cool, but it happened. You know what? So, you pissed me off. I'm going to go break that statue. Bruh. So, fuck everybody's day. Cause... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why did you tip over this person in the wheelchair? Fucking barista messed up my order. What? Like, these things don't correlate, dog. That nigga broke some shit because he was mad at his girl. I'm like, bro, now you going to jail. You got to pay all this shit. And you're still single. Was it worth it? Probably not. Uh... Right. Even if you had like a 100% like solid argument and was 100% in the right, all she going, yeah, that's why your dumb ass went to the bros and fucked all that shit up. Mm-hmm. You're done. You can't win that argument. You're done. <laughs> I'm the bitch, but you the nigga that was on TV for breaking art. Yeah, who's stupid now? <laughs> what you gonna do? Just... Mm-hmm. That's all you do is just sit there, eat that. Go break some more art because you're pissed off again. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it break some it's, more a cycle. it's a vicious cycle. Just... He in his jail cell just drawing stick figures and putting them on the wall and punching the shit out of him. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm expressing myself. He's just breaking shit, bro. Makes this nice little clay fucking doll. Makes fucking Twiggly from goddamn <laughs> Thunder. <laughs> just breaks that shit. Jeez. Oh, you got another one? 24? 
I, I think I got one more. I, I, I ain't going to send it because I'm lazy and I'm double fisting. That's fair. But you gonna, it'll get sent and you'll be seeing That's it. That's fair. You like chess? Yes. Board game? No, it's a legit question. Like, yeah. Okay. I don't play it often, but I don't have to play it. Yeah, okay. Cool. Do you keep up Two with the uh, uh, National Chess Championship at all? Didn't nigga just get caught cheating? Did, they... Did you know how? <laughs> Did you read anything about it? I don't remember how. I didn't even right, read right, it up. Right. There's like the old head, right? Who is... He's like the old champion or whatever. He's been reigning for whatever. Grandmaster, yeah. If it's not Flash, then I ain't going to say it. So he the champion, all right? And the young buck come across, come through, whoop him up. Immediately after, because don't nobody really know who the young buck is, they start internet conspiracies on how he won, right? Mm -hmm. So the conspiracy is that young buck took a sex toy, essentially. Like, uh... Oh, yeah. And it, like, vibrated. Needs that would calculate the best move for his opponent. Or, like, his opponent's next move and then the next move. Mm -hmm. So, like, he won, right? Everybody came up with the conspiracies and whatever. And then, like, the dude who lost was like, ah, I'm not gonna talk about it too much because... You know, like, I'm going to get in trouble. Yeah, but, I'm not going like, to play into it. He's like, yeah, but... It was a little weird how he beat me, but I'm not going to dwell on it. Yeah. Exactly. It was like, it, people don't just really get good at chess that fast. Like, you're either yeah. good on the scene... You, or yeah, you're either like, everybody knows you because you're that good, or, you're like, you're out. not good. Yeah, you don't just get good. So then they play it again, bruh. And he waxed him, right? No, no, old cuz gave up, but he didn't even try. Bro. He didn't want to even go through the embarrassment again, bro. So he moved one piece, knocked it over, resigned. He made so his you, old nigga retire, bro. You forced an early retirement using anal beads. Allegedly. I believe it. I mean. <laughs> I believe it. I remember seeing something about that, and yeah, they said the like he is wearing like glasses or some shit to like see the game, and then it was running through like an algorithm and a computer, and it would like vibrate Morse code <laughs> to bro. tell him what moves to do. Just that's why I don't put it past him, bro. Like you can, you know, if them nerds can do shit like that and rig, like you watching shit through your glasses and it sends it to a computer. And, and then you got your, your butt yeah. tingling telling you queen to fucking rooks eight? Come on now. <laughs> rooks eight? This thing clearly doesn't know as much about chess as... I know, I don't know the fucking moves. I, you, I don't know I the grip system either. I know the horse does an L. Uh, I know that fucking... <laughs> the horse, huh? The knight. Come on, man. Don't do me All like right, that. All right, so when you move twice and then you jump, you get kinged, right? In that one, or is that Connect Four? Only if you're playing double jumps. Okay. And that's uh, trouble. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> so you play Sorry Weird now? Uh, all right, I got. I think I got one more for this last one too. Land the plane. Land on. So there was a couple in California that got arrested because these niggas were essentially trying to play cops and we're doing entrapment these niggas would leave a bike outside of their front yard and they had like the ring camera on that shit so they would just leave it there wait for a motherfucker to come up and steal it and go out there and whip that motherfucker ass <laughs> and then they would post shit on YouTube like they was fucking Batman or something and now they both going to jail for assault Cause they was beating motherfuckers with like bats and fucking yeah. <laughs> bats and like golf clubs and shit. Like they was, they would just sit there by the door with the hey, camera I mean, on the bike. Um, it's not their first assault. Bro. No, <laughs> they, they they had a YouTube channel about the shit. They were just doing it on YouTube. 
And then the cops are like, y'all know this is hella illegal. They're like, no, yeah, I, like, they were still her bike. You like, found setting them the up. best loophole, bro. Like, Man, I just want to beat this motherfucker ass. How oh, you can't do it, though? He didn't do nothing. But what if he did do something? Well, if nigga stole my bike, then he's stealing my property. He, he got a bike, though. But I'm just, hey, brother, the, the planning that goes into him, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, so they was just, they would just fucking have the camera on the bike, see a motherfucker start riding away, roll out there, start whipping their ass. All of that for a couple, couple YouTube views? I mean, I don't think it was about the YouTube. Um, <laughs> I'll, <laughs> you just get your ass whooped, man. I, just I, like I don't think that. their motivation was YouTube. I think their motivation was uh, demonic intentions <laughs> um, to set motherfuckers up to stomp them out. It don't seem like some YouTube shit. Like I just, I mean, but why record it though? I don't know. Could they get they get they kicked? I don't fucking know. Weird ass white people. <laughs> I don't think like that. I don't think you're asking me for. We got no idea what the fuck is going on. As they jump people. I see what you did there. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, that shit, bro. Now, I decline ever taking part of this, and I it is truthful. I swear to God, I never took part in this. But a lot of the homies used to do a, what we used to call knockout missions at BART. You didn't come on bar when we was out here. We were supposed to. No, no, I'm kind of glad I fucking didn't. Um, yeah, bro. It's just... Well, that know, tradition doesn't just true. die pretty easily. It kind of sticks around a little bit. It's Yeah, knockout missions, bro. And it was like when we first had the little like the little brick no keys with the first camera on it, the little rectangle joints. Mm-hmm. You record... The indestructible bitches, yeah. Bro, you just... Motherfucker be buying their BART ticket, putting in their money. Somebody will walk up behind them. Bing! No reason at all. Just minding your business. And you get punched in your fucking yeah. cerebral shit. Yeah. All shit. And the goal is to knock him out cold. Y'all know y'all was killing folk, right? Again, I didn't partake in any of this. Except Just by association. I have heard of things like this happening. Mm. I don't know if I... you know, I don't, F-I-F. <laughs> well, this article is stuck with it. I didn't. I didn't do it. I, I, I One, was, two, three, four, fifth. <laughs> that is another episode of Four Minutes <laughs> Stupid. We will. Uh, we will holler at y'all uh, eventually. Like Our upload right. schedule is dog yeah. water. Also true. So. Be happy, uh, bitches. I don't think we're still going to get you like that in the camera again. We're done here. <laughs>